Multiple people contact me about accepting Islam. He was, That's right. Yo, body tight. What's going on, my brother? What do you know, like, some of the things you know about Islam? You know, Muhammad was a messenger. Five pillars of Islam. The first pillar is the Shahada. And you know, as a Muslim, we pray five times a day. Pay zakat. It's purification of your wealth. I was so interested, like, does this actually count? I'm in my house. I know it's Ramadan. And, you know, I know what I should be doing. But I'm, throughout my life, every single time I've met a Muslim brother or sister, man, it's always been, you know, real genuine and love real good energy so i don't know I you know, know basic things that I, I need to know so that's why i say you know let me reach out to the brother rip right the belief in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala right belief in the angels then we have angels. to believe in the books it's it, absolutely beautiful when i saw that video of the young man that memorized the quran i could not believe that brother are you are you ready i am ready brother i am i am ready to ash hadu ash hadu allah ilaha illallah wa ash hadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. So you just said Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah ta'ala wa barakatuh to all hadith disciples, YouTubers and viewers. Welcome back to a new video on River HD. So I'm about to show you how I train during Ramadan. However, I've had multiple people contact me about accepting Islam uh, within a time frame of Ramadan and I think this we're on the third day so we're gonna call one um, brother right now on Instagram because he uh, he wanted to accept Islam and he was you know thinking that he needed multiple witnesses that's right yo body tight what's going on my brother What's going on, big dog? How you feeling, man? I'm, I'm good. Alhamdulillah. I'm glad. I'm glad you called, bro. So, what's crazy is a couple of people have been um, contacting me about shahada. So, this is definitely good. You you don't need um, a witness actually to accept okay. Islam, which is good. So, question: Like, what are you? What do you? What do you know? Like, some of the things you know about Islam. So you know, I've I've been doing my research. Of course, I know a good amount about Islam. Of course, you know. As far as, you know, Allah being the one and only God, you know, I've always believed in that. But I know a bunch of things as far as, you know, the um, the masjid and things like that and, you know, the uh, hijab and things that we wear and things like that. Um, you know, words that we use, um, you know, I know that, you know, uh, you know, Muhammad was a messenger and things of that nature. So I know a good thing. I know a good a lot about Islam, but I'm missing I'm missing a good amount as well. So. Without a doubt. So, um yeah basically you know we believe in you know five pillars of islam and this is mm -hmm. dealing mostly with actions and um the first pillar is the shahada and as i told you it's pretty simple it's the kalima um the statement mm -hmm. of the tongue so you're basically you know testifying that there's um you know that none has the right to be worshipped except allah the one and only true god and that the prophet muhammad is his slave and his final and seal of all messengers and then next you know after the shahada obviously is the prayer you know as a muslim we pray five times a day right mm -hmm. which is mandatory yeah. upon the man and the woman you know uh, yes. you know and then um obviously you're gonna pay zakat you know a lot of people don't really understand what zakat is it's purification of your wealth basically if you have anywhere from seven to about eight thousand i think is the amount that you need mm -hmm. if it's just sitting after a whole year meaning money you're not touching just sitting you would give 2.5 of that which is possibly what four hundred dollars i believe to the people in need um, that Allah Taala describes in the Quran, and a lot of people, you know, tight fisted, they don't want to give, but they don't know that giving um purifies your it purifies your wealth, right? Yeah, and, I thought that's what we're supposed to do. I know that this is the month of giving as well. Oh so man, spirituality. yeah, you, it's like it's like a it's like a win. The Prophet Sallallahu said, you know, is is you know, it's not restricted just to the Muslims mm -hmm. or the non-Muslims. The win helps everybody. The the, the kufar while they're selling on on the you know on the ocean you name it you know yeah. it's like air air benefits yeah. everybody so that's how everybody, the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was during the month of ramadan when he would give you know and then mm. um it's fasting obviously during the ninth month of the islamic calendar which is ramadan which would be 29th to third days and which is beautiful because you're already fasting right yeah. 
So mm -hmm. you had hit me up, right? I told you you're gonna be on my vlog. That yo, I yeah. wonder if because I was I was so interested. Like, does this actually count? You know, does does I mean? Because I'm you know I'm in my house. I know it's Ramadan, and you know I know what I should be doing. But I'm like, man, I'm missing all the basics. I need to really get in contact with the brother, and you know, really find out what I need to be doing throughout my life. Every single time I've met a Muslim brother or sister, man, it's always been you know real genuine love, real good energy, and I've always you know wanted to figure out what I actually need to be doing. So I know during the month of Ramadan, I'm not you know completely doing everything right that Allah needs me to do because I don't know the prayers. I don't don't know, I you know, know, basic things that I uh, need to know. So that's why I say, you know, let me reach out to the brother Rip Right because I know he'll probably tell me, like, am I actually, you know, is this going to be received or should I actually, like, I need to do this the correct way, right? So then, then that's when you told me, like, yeah, you need to know what I'm yeah, Just let I, me know. I'm and really like, I appreciate it. Nah, all day. And then the final pillar is Hajj to the, the house of Allah, meaning Mecca. You know, once in a lifetime, if uh, the person is able financially, and physically able so those particular pillars those five pillars of islam those are the foundation without them you islam is not yeah. upheld and right. then when we start talking about the belief of the heart we deal with the six articles of faith and the first one clearly again is the belief in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala right right and then af after that the belief in the angels so we know that the angels were put here for certain things you know, as the Imam said, Israfil, he's going to blow the trumpet to, to signal the day of resurrection. You know, Angel Jibril, he was given um, the job of giving revelation to the prophets from Allah. So we have to believe in Allah. Then we have to believe in the angels. Then we have to believe in the books. So we know that the Torah and the Injil, the book that was given to the Christians and the Jews, those books are valid. They came from God. However... The books of today, we don't believe they are correct. We believe they've been tampered with. And the Quran came after. And Allah mentions in the Quran that he will protect the Quran. And that's why it hasn't been tampered with. Because you have hundreds of thousands of Muslims who memorize the holy Quran from front to back. So if you destroy That's absolutely beautiful. When I saw that video of the young man that memorized the Quran, I could not believe that. Yeah, so if you destroy every single Quran in the world, guess what? You you got to kill all of the Hafiz too, all of the people because they can mm -hmm. just bring it right back, right? Yeah, so yeah, after beautiful. the books, the books were given to the messengers. So we have to believe in all the messengers. So we know the Jews, um, they don't believe, you know, and they don't really accept the Prophet Muhammad and the Christians as well. They don't, they don't really, ex they don't accept the Prophet Muhammad, right? No. And they accept... Jesus as being the son of God or God himself. But the Muslims, we believe yes. in all of the prophets. Which I Moses, never believe that. That doesn't sound, yes. that doesn't sound correct at all. Uh, Moses, so with, with that being said, you know, next after that is the, the, the Qadr, meaning the, no, excuse me, the day of resurrection, right? So we have to believe that Allah is going to raise us up after we die and we're going to be held accountable for that. Right, Absolutely. and then next yes. is the qadr, meaning the good of it and and the misfortune of it that everything was written fifty thousand years before Allah created the heavens and the earth. He created the pen, and he told the pen to write, and the pen wrote everything that would happen from that day until the day of resurrection. So, with that being said, brother, are you are you ready? Are you ready to do this? Absolutely, my brother. I am. I am more than ready, but I am. I am ready to come right to Allah the right way. Allahu Akbar. So you just repeat after me. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Allah. Allah. El Allah. 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 Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashhadu. Wa ashhadu. Anna, Anna, Muhammadah, Muhammadah, Muhammadar, Muhammadar, Rasulullah, Rasulullah. So you just said, I bear witness that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah, Allah. who has no partners, no associates, 
in that the Prophet Muhammad Ibn Abdullah from 1400 years ago, not Elijah Muhammad, not Fawad Muhammad, not any other mm -hmm. Muhammad than Muhammad Ibn Abdullah, right? That was born mm -hmm. in 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 the Middle East, that he is the slave and the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahu oh, Akbar. Bro, bro, you just your deeds, your bad deeds are wiped clean. Anything you did before just now is eradicated as long as you accepted Islam with sincerity. So with that being said, my brother in Islam, um, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. You might not know how to respond, but we're going to teach you all of that. We're going to make sure you get your shower. Um, and then we're going to try to get them prayers to you so that you can, you, you could, uh, get, you know, get on, uh, get on the Sarat al mustaqim man, the straight path. I, I'm, I'm happy for you. Allahu Akbar. Allah Thank you, my brother. No, no Thank problem. You, Make sure you lock my number in right so now. So much, man, just washed over me, brother. Yes, mm -hmm. Allahu Akbar. You so better than you better than all of the Muslims right now. Um, so I'm I'm gonna head out and um I'm gonna text you. Okay, brother. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Hey, one thing. So I, I ordered the Quran. The Quran. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know if I should have or should I get it for my brother. Um, which one you ordered? I'm going to send you, send, yeah, because you, you probably want to do a good tr translation because the Quran literally is in Quran. All, all, all Arabic. Now, there's different translations and to get into the, the, the best English translations um, is not, it's not easy because the, the, yeah. uh, the, the Arabi to translate into English is no comparison. So you want to get the oh, best man, one possible. Tough. I'm <laughs> Yeah, you want to get the best one possible. So the Muhsin Khan, okay. maybe the the Noble Quran would be best by Muhsin okay. Khan. I I okay. I give you all info, bro. All right, I appreciate you, Rip. Right, I appreciate you, my brother. Nah, real. all day, bro. Be safe. Assalamu alaikum. Later. Alhamdulillah. Later, my brother. Okay. Translation is a lump of flesh, a piece of meat. And when that lump of flesh.